Hey, do you want to learn programming with rocket cars and tournaments and friends and upvotes? If you do, you should follow this guide to set up Arlbot so you can make custom Rocket League bots. To do it in Python, you would go to arlbot.org and click on this Python section. And you'll need to install Python if you don't have it already. When you do, you're going to want to make sure you add Python 3.6 to path and install that. And you'll also need to download our zip file and you'll need to extract it. You should probably save it in a good location, but I'm just going to extract it right here. Don't need this window anymore. And if you look in here, you'll see the files you can use to run the bots. Uh, but first, we need to open up Rocket League. And we should also double check that Python finished installing, and it did. Once Rocket League opens, we can double click on rungui.bat. So here it is, let me move it out of the way. And now our user interface will pop up. And this is showing you that it's about to run a match between Python example bot and another copy of itself. Once you click run, it'll start the game in a few seconds. I want to point out that these bots do not work online, so this is not for crate farming. This is just for having fun. Now the match is starting, and you'll see the bots in the game. These bots are really simple. All they do is ball chase, which you'll see in a second. They hit the ball. They don't really know what team they're on or anything like that. But you can improve on that if you go into this Python example folder and look in this Python example.py file you can find the code that makes the bot do everything that it does. So this section of the code tells it which direction to turn to do its ball chasing. And if you want to add something simple, you could try doing controller state dot boost equals true. And when you save it, both cars just started boosting. You could change the throttle to zero or you could change the throttle to negative one, and the cars will do exactly what you tell them. There's a lot more you can do with this, and if you need some tips on how to get started with that, we have a nice tutorial series that I've linked in the description. And you can also come back to our website at arlbot.org to find the Discord server. It's a chat room where people can help you out with programming and Arlbot specifically, and maybe make some new friends. Hope you have fun with this.